the Sony PlayStation, a necessity for gracious living. The original Sony PlayStation that was first released in Japan in 1994 would change the world of console gaming forever, eventually becoming the first game console in history to sell more than 120 million units, Sony with their new PlayStation console managed to obliterate their competition even though Sega and Nintendo had already been successfully making consoles for years. A combination of slick marketing and good decision making had helped the Sony PlayStation ascend to the top of the home console market, laying the foundation for the many years of prosperity that were to come for the PlayStation. Despite being one of the most iconic and recognisable gaming devices ever made, the original PlayStation still holds interesting secrets that remain largely mysterious to this very day. In today's video, we will be exploring one of these mysteries to examine the famous platform's most perplexing port. So without further ado, I am Lady Decade and this is the mystery of the Sony PlayStation's lost console add-on. When it comes to the world of console gaming, often when owning a platform, you will own hardware with slots that often go unused. In a recent upload, for example, we explored the concealed expansion port that is present on the underside of the NES, with it being believed that it was built into the device primarily so that it could connect to a never-released Nintendo Entertainment System disk system, with a modem being developed and test marketed that did indeed utilise the slot. Likewise, if you own specific models of the original PlayStation, a similarly mysterious unused slot can be found to the left on the rear of the system, located behind a removable tab. A slot can be found which is labelled Parallel Port. Which raises the question, what was this for? Suppose you do a little bit of research online. In that case, you will soon notice a common misconception, with many believing that the parallel port exists so that you can network Sony PlayStations together. However, this information is actually false. PlayStations can be networked together, but through the platform's serial port. Most of the confusion probably lies with the fact that PlayStations had the parallel port removed later. Over time, Sony would slowly remove the number of inputs and outputs they had on the back of their console over a period. It is believed that this was done due to a combination of them not being used and cost-cutting measures, eventually leaving nothing more than the power cable slot, the AV out and the serial port. So it's no surprise that when the parallel port is brought up, many confuse it with the serial one. This diagram shows the reality of what the parallel port really does. The parallel port is a sort of faux name for the slot. In actuality, it is an expansion port. This means it can be used to connect to other devices, allowing them to gain access to everything on the PlayStation's local data bus. Due to this, theories exist that Sony chose to have the slot removed because it was being exploited so that PlayStation owners could commit piracy. Third-party add-ons were rife that could aid users in achieving this purpose. These include the likes of the Explorer FX, PlayStation Code Cards by Power Replay, and most famously, Action Replays and Game Sharks. Game Shocks were sold primarily because they came with preloaded cheats saved in the onboard flash memory. Game Sharks could also be used like memory cards, and their Explorer option allowed gamers to access most PlayStation Disk files. Some of these sorts of devices allow gamers to play import games or scan all of the FMV files on a disc like Final Fantasy VII and watch them from an options menu one by one, a convenient feature in a pre-YouTube world. These cheating devices would also often help gamers play pirated copies of games burned straight onto CDRs, which could be the primary motivating factor as to why Sony chose to remove the port. But when the port was still on the console, it was used for other purposes too. Third-party VCD console add-ons were also manufactured to be used with the PlayStation, which, you guessed it, allowed PlayStation owners to watch VCD movies on the hardware. While never particularly popular in the West, these DVD precursors were hugely popular in East Asia. In fact, on my trip to Thailand and Cambodia in 2017, new VCDs were still for sale everywhere, with us picking up this sealed copy of Yokai Watch on VCD. How we be. 
In fact, since we have an extensive collection of VCDs that we can watch on our Philips CDI, we have never needed to invest in a PlayStation VCD card ourselves. Further to VCD, if you want to utilize other popular media from the period, add-ons would let owners read MP3 files, increasing the functionality of the Sony PlayStation. But perhaps the weirdest parallel port add-on was this. This is the Super GB Booster, a Sony PlayStation console add-on that allows its user base to use their Game Boy cartridges with the PlayStation. These came with a built-in game known as Rebound Mission, a very average title. As for playing games on the Super GB Booster, you get a few borders to choose from, but sadly, the device offers zero sound functionality, meaning that all the games have to be played in silence. Fortunately, to make up for this issue, since the Game Boy games are inserted into the back of the console, regular music CDs can be inserted into the top, so that you can listen to your favourite album as you play the game, so at least there is that. In more recent times, the PSIO has seen release, an add-on which is simply a development cartridge that plugs into your PlayStation's parallel port. It allows you to instantly see your software running from an SD card on real hardware, making it the ultimate developer's tool and invaluable for debugging. In layman's terms, this makes it the same as an EverDrive, essentially a flash cart for the PS1. So, this mysterious slot has become more useful as time has passed by. All these devices we have covered so far were produced by third parties, with none being put out by Sony PlayStation's hardware division. However, if this expansion port existed, it implies that intention must have existed for it to be utilised in an official capacity that would have benefited Sony. Since the parallel port was on the back of all early PlayStation devices, a great idea was suggested to me that should I want to learn more about the parallel port's true purpose, I should check the official Sony hardware manual. So I looked up the parallel port and Sony gave me the most detailed explanation, outlining that two types of expansion ports are provided, serial and parallel. Let's be honest, your mum could have worked that one out by simply reading the back of the console. So, thanks for nothing, Sony. Regarding the expansion port's true purpose, some speculate that it was used internally behind the scenes to help debug consoles, with others believing that at one point in time there was an intention for Sony to release a PlayStation modem so that users could surf the information superhighway and perhaps even game online. Plans for an official secret add-on using the parallel port must have existed, even if they have now been lost to time. Considering that we now have access to so much information online regarding console history, it is rare that we stumble across an expansion port on the back of a console with no evidence of an intention of purpose appearing to be out there. This is one of those gaming mysteries with no clear answer appearing to be readily available. Still, at least third parties provided plenty of options to take advantage of the PlayStation's little slot of glory. With a bit of luck, maybe there is someone watching today who can reveal the true purpose of this expansion port, but for now at least we have plenty of valuable ways to utilise it. So this leaves me with one question for you all. Why does this slot exist? Make sure you subscribe and leave a comment down below and after you have done that, check out my upload on the Sega Mega Drive's Lost Console add-on. See you soon.